So, today's January 29th. And this should have uh, a lot of fun stuff planned for today. First, I want to get something productive out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're clean out the car and, uh, and take her for a car wash. Because I actually haven't gotten a car wash since I've been back from Utah and Colorado. She deserves one. truck's clean, smells good, looks good in here, feel a lot better about it. Um, so I'm heading up north and I'm gonna go meet uh, a former co-worker for lunch and get some Chinese dim sum. So I'm really looking forward to that. And earlier this week, I actually uh, had sushi for the first time. And I don't mean like the rolls with cooked food in it, sushi. Rice and raw fish sushi. So Danny, who you've seen in some of the other videos. Hey baby, que paso? We've been talking about it for a while. This past Thursday, he took us out to go gra grab some real sushi. In fact, Luke shot some video. And discovers sushi. Which one is that? Yellowtail. Yellowtail? Don't smell it, just eat it. Bottoms up, dear chap. <laughs> Oh. That's that is your tongue, dude. That's in your mouth. That's the way. Joe, so, not bad. Wow. I'm helping out, Fred. I'm, I'm gonna send you a switch for your vlog. So, all in all, um, I actually didn't really mind it. It, it wasn't. It wasn't as traumatic as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it was pretty good. I don't think I'm ever, I don't think I'm at the point where I'll ever say I'm craving it, but if a group of friends wants to go eat sushi now, I will go eat it. But now Chinese dim sum, I can for sure get down. And you know what, while I have this time since I'm driving up north, big thanks to Mike DeCamp. So someone I met through kind of a vlogger's Facebook group. And so yesterday I was working on the bathroom between Home Depot and putting up shiplap and, and I get a no notification that Mike's latest video went up. Well I get around to watching it and Mike gives me a shout out at the end of the video and I really appreciate it. Some of you might remember in the video I was packing for my road trip I mentioned that I was watching his video where he was on a boat in India. Checking out Mike's latest video, he's actually in India right now on a houseboat. So, just try to keep up with him. And Mike's an awesome guy and I thought this before he gave me a shout out, so it's not based just on that. But, uh, and I know he's not giving me a shout out expecting one in return, because he's that kind of guy. So I'm not gonna give Mike a shout out. I'm not gonna mention that I've linked his channel in the description. I'm not gonna mention that that's the link to his channel up there. I'm not gonna mention that this guy is the definition of hustle. He is a daily vlogger. I mean, I'm, you know how I've gone from like four days to two days to like lately just one day a week of vlogging? This guy vlogs every day. And I'm not gonna mention how he's really upping his game lately. He got a, recently got a drone, he recently got an SLR that he's shooting on. I'll just say that Mike, you're the man and I appreciate it. Full. So we went to a dim sum, right? So if you're not familiar, Chinese dim sum, they kind of come around the carts and the carts have different things on them. Um, whether they're dumplings, sticky rice, pastries, shrimp roll, anyway. And then you just, you're like, yeah, give me two of those, give me one of those, give me a couple of those. It was really good. It was great catching up with Sam. He's He's got a lot of really exciting opportunities right now in life as far as like places he may move, jobs to take, anyway. Um, so always great seeing friends. Now, I think I'm gonna head back home and uh, 
try to do something fun with Cooper. Because that poor guy needs to run around and it's a beautiful day today. So it's a perfect day for it. going to McKinney Falls and I guess because it's a really nice day it was super super crowded but a combination of that and the fact that they actually they don't allow dogs off leash or in the water kind of rain on the parade so taking Cooper but having to keep him on leash and not being able to kind of like splash around in the water like that was that was kind of the intent so just a pretty quick trip we spent maybe an hour there and just hung out I mean it's a really nice day so I'm not not mad about it, but it is what it is. So now I'm actually running really quickly to Apple, um, just because I have a appointment for my iPhone, and uh, and then tonight we're gonna head out for another movie. So we went last week to see Underworld. This week we're gonna see Resident Evil. I told you, I like shitty movies. I need you. shooting a little sunset time lapse. Just got done at Apple. Um, the, the phone seems to be working for now. So the idea is I want to survive on this iPhone 6 Plus, which is a two and a half year old phone, longer than I've ever had an iPhone, but I'm trying to hang on to it until the next iPhone comes out. The eight or the whatever, the 10 year anniversary iPhone. And you know what else is exciting? So check this out. Go to Colorado in 12 days. And my Mavic arrives in 49, 49, 49, 49 days. God, it must be nice to be DJI right now. Anyway, I'm still excited, but try not to get too excited because I have a long way ahead of me. So we're getting a pretty nice sunset. So let's see how it turns out. <laughs> Thank you. 